finna say. You already know what I'm finna say. That took me 15 seconds? Nah. That took me 15 seconds. You're staring at me as another man through the screen. As another man, maybe female sometimes. Most of my fan base is males. You niggas are sitting here staring at me, looking at me through the screen, without liking or commenting on the video. You're just staring at my face right now. Oh, you thought I was gonna cut it and make it not awkward? Nah. I'm gonna make it awkward. You're sitting here staring at the screen right now without liking a damn video. You do this every time. You do this every time you click on my video. You click on my video without liking it, bro. Video. Go ahead and like the damn video, bro. Go ahead and like the damn video, bro. Please, bro. Just like the video, bro. This, this story time, nah. Lock in. This story time might be the most, I wouldn't say embarrassing, but it low key was embarrassing at the time because what happened afterwards, bro, I'll get to that in the story time. But, bro, this might be one of the most embarrassing, like, worst moments in my life, bro. And I'm not joking. I am not joking. I cannot make this. I cannot make this shit up, bro. I cannot make this shit up, bro. If you haven't already, grab your dinner, grab your snacks, grab your lunch. I don't know. Breakfast. I don't know what time you be watching me. <laughs> I don't know what time you be watching me. Grab something. Grab all your stuff. Go use the restroom. I need y'all to lock in this video, bro. Go do what you gotta do right now. Pause the video if you got something. If you're doing chores, nigga, do your chores first, bro. If you got homework, do your homework first. Pause the video. Do your homework first, bro. If you haven't got your snacks already, pause the video, then come back. Get the snacks, then come back. Because this story time is gonna be something different. I'm gonna need y'all to lock in. I'm gonna need y'all to lock in, bro. And lock in. Grab your snacks, sit back, relax, and let's go ahead and get straight into the story time. change the camera angle man nah. i had to change the camera angle in the in the quality of the video because it was literally blurry and shit nah nah i had to change the quality of the video i'm keeping that in there too it's all bloopers i'm keeping my intro in there too i'm not redoing it <laughs> i'm not redoing that intro so <laughs> we're gonna keep it exactly like that but nah let's go ahead and jump straight into that i know y'all got y'all snacks y'all y'all sit back y'all trying to y'all y'all spectate y'all spectating right now trying to figure out what happened to me nah Y'all sitting back right now trying to figure out now. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. So look, it was around my sophomore year of high school. Lock in, lock in. Lock in, bro. Stop. Quit talking to other people. Quit talking to other people. Lock in, bro. Like I was saying, sophomore year. Yep, sophomore year. And I had just met, I had just met this one girl. It's my very first female I ever, like, not really ever talked to. But, like, this is the first female I actually, like, fully, fully mess with. If that makes sense. This is the first female I ever, like, truly mess with right i didn't really mess with her but i messed with her if that makes sense like like i was just for me but Let, let's be honest Let, let's be honest I, like all like, let, let, let's be honest we were we were all just horny bro we were all just horny bro 15 years old horny as hell bro like usual like the normal 15 year old bro um we're gonna call this female what what, what can i call her uh why did it failure why did failure pop up my nah 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 Failure pop up in my head. I was finna call her failure. Nah. I was finna call her failure. <laughs> She's not a failure, bro. She's not a failure. Anyways, uh, we gonna call her uh, 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 KK. We gonna call her KK. All right. I don't know why that just. All right, bro. We just gonna call her KK, right? KK, you're done for. I hope she's watching this video. I hope she's watching this video too. You're done for, buddy. I'm, I'm, I'm getting to know her. You feel me? Like I, I start to talk to her. I get to know her. I get her number or whatever. I, in school, I get her number or whatever, right? I end up, I end up talking to her. Uh, I end up going up to her at school, and, uh, and then I ended up, I ended up, uh, actually taking her to the movies like twice. I think it was like two times, and then I had met her parents, bro. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you. I already knew, I already knew I was in there a long time ago before I had even 
like I already knew what time it was I already knew I was gonna get something from this female like I, I even though that's terrible to think about but I my mindset with this female was to strictly either get head or lose my virginity at this time and I'm not joking this is the this is the mindset I had at 15 years old now obviously I'm more I'm grown now so it's like I have a way totally different mindset but at the time it, my goal with this female was to get neck <laughs> was to get neck and 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 into 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 right we're not gonna say it so i i don't get demonetized on this video but anyways youtube don't demonetize me because i didn't say the word smeet head anyway everybody at the time knew my mission they knew what it was bro they everybody knew me at the time everybody in high school already knew what time it was and what my mission was with this female bro. like let's be honest so i ended up taking her to the movies took her to the mall bought us some food or whatever bro i was going i ain't gonna lie i was kind of going crazy bro like i ain't gonna lie to you like like i ain't gonna lie to you i was kind of going crazy anyways i had met her parents then then i had met her parents whenever i met her parents i already knew like i knew i knew i knew once i met her parents that the next time we hung out it was going to be me either losing my virginity or me getting head this is the fourth time we hang right and i, I took her to the movies twice met her parents you know went to the mall and everything right uh this is the fourth time now it's at night time she had we already had talked on the phone i'm like hey you should go to your friend's house right you should go to your friend's house now her friend right kk's friend lives down the street from where i live i don't know if she lives there now still but she had lived down the street from me so what they usually would do is they'd walk over at nighttime sneak out or whatever at nighttime and come meet up with me right if that makes sense when they meet up with me right when they meet up with me we end up walking around uh we end up walking around what this gas station there's a gas station over here where i live we end up taking a couple laps around my neighborhood now when we're taking a couple laps i'm not gonna lie bro i was over here grabbing bro i was over here grabbing everything bro she was walking in front of me i'm over here um mm, 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 mm. you get what i'm trying to say like i'm grabbing everything bro i'm like bro i literally felt up on everything every part of her body bro i felt bro a lot i kind of felt bad for her friend bro because she was she was it was like overly third willing it wasn't just no regular third she's a real i ain't gonna lie she's a real nigga bro she's a real ass nigga because if it was me personally i would never third wheel like that bro if i'm a third wheel matter of fact i would never be a third wheel i'm not gonna lie to you bro i'd never be a third wheel ever <laughs> i could never i could never take myself to be a third wheel that's insane but if i was a third wheel it'd be something like that like i ain't gonna lie i would be like i wouldn't say nothing bro like but we was doing a lot like when we was walking around bro taking laps around the blocks and stuff bro it was at like 12 o'clock at night bro i kid you not bro we was doing the most freaky bro we was doing the most freaky shit while walking around bro i i, I can't make this shit up bro we was doing the most freaky shit while while walking around bro so lock in lock back in bro so so while we walking around we taking laps bro her friend's third wheel and she's like low-key like just staring at her phone but she's low-key noticing that we're doing freaky shit on the side bro she's noticing that we're doing freaky shit on the side so i'm like low-key this is the night bro i don't care if we have to go to the park i'm fit to her i'm fit to get neck or something i'm fit to get neck something i'm getting something tonight bro tonight is the night bro tonight is the actual night bro but we start walking towards the park or whatever right we start walking towards the park i get a call I get a call or whatever. I get a call. Dude, was, it's a used to be a friend. It's an old friend, right? Uh, it used to be an old friend or whatever. And we gonna, we gonna call him Maddie B. So Maddie B, I get a call from Maddie B, right? He like, hey, he said, what's the word? Hey, I'm trying to get on that with uh, Shorty, the third, the girl that's third willing, right? The girl that's third willing, he was trying to get on that. So I'm like, perfect, that's a two man. So now she won't be with us whenever I try to get me some that. Yeah, you already know. You already know. <laughs> It was the really perfect time. Nah, he might have had the most perfect timing of all time, my nigga. He literally called me whenever I was overly like, yeah, I'm trying to do something tonight. He's like, bro, I could swoop right now, type. Like, I could swoop y'all. I'm like, bet. So we end up walking to the park, right? We end up walking to the park. And Maddie B, Maddie B pulls up, right? Maddie B pulls up. He pulls into the park, right? And we don't even go over there he just he instantly knows he instantly sees my vision bro he instantly sees what i'm i'm trying to separate from the group i'm trying to take me and kk away from the away from the group you feel me i'm like trying to walk away from the group and let him walk with her he already knew what the plan was 
he already usually he'd be ruining it. Maddie B usually be ruining all the plans. Nah, this one time I will say he did it. He executed perfectly. Maddie B, if you're watching this video, you executed the plan perfectly. I'm not finna cap to you, bro. This nigga knew he saw me. He was like, alright, bet. So he started walking with uh with uh Shorty, with the one that was thermally. He started walking with her and took her off somewhere. So now it's me and KK alone, bro. It's, I ain't gonna lie, we did some overly freaky shit, bro. Like, bro, we was on, where were we? Bro, we was at the park right here. And, uh, we was in a park. And what did we do? We was sitting on, like, uh, we was sitting on, like, the park benches or whatever. By the, like, there's a skate park or whatever. We was sitting by, like, the skate park or whatever, right? Bro, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't finna tell you what I did, bro. Just know I did some freaky shit with her, bro. Like, it was, like, some overly freaky shit. Like, you'd be like, bro, what the fuck? This nigga's a freaky ass nigga. Nah, I am. Nah. I'm not even for the cap. I am a freaky ass. I ain't gonna lie. Secretly, I am a freaky ass nigga. Like, I like I can't even lie. I am a freaky ass nigga. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not finna sit here and cap to nobody. I am a freaky ass nigga. So 20 it's like 20 minutes later, like after us doing freaky shit, right? Like, like on the park bench. On the park bench. So they end up walking back because it's low-key kind of cold outside. It's around, it's around November, December. So it's it's cold outside, right? So it's like, bro, you can low-key use my car. I said, we can use your car. Say no more, nigga. Say no more. When he said, bro, you can use my car, that's all I needed to hear. I said, clap it up for Maddie B, bro. Clap it up for Maddie B. Now, there's some story times about Maddie B that we got to get to later on in life. But just know that that same night, Maddie B was on, he was executing perfectly. So I get in a car with her, right? And I ain't gonna lie. You thought we was doing freaky shit before? Oh hell no! Nah. I was trying to go crazy, bro. I was trying to, bro, I was trying to do everything I seen on the internet, bro. Like I was trying to go crazy, bro. It was low key more freaky than me. I'm not even finna cap to you. She was low, low key. She was low key more freaky than me. But I was trying to match the same level type shit. You feel me? I was trying to match it. I was trying to match it. But then I gave her over the top phenomenal head, my nigga. Over the top, like nigga. You get what I'm trying to say? So, lock back in. So, we're giving her head or whatever, right? In the back of the seat, right? Then, she goes, she goes, right? She gets up. She gets up out of the, like, she gets up out of the position. And she goes to give me head. She goes back. She comes up. She gets up. And I'm in the seat just, like, just sitting there, right? She gets up to give me head, right? She gets up to give me head, right? I kid you not. When she gets up to give me head, bro, niggas open the door i'm all my shit is out like literally everything's out she has her pants pulled down everything bro and we're basically naked bro these niggas open the door from getting scared they got scared they got scared from something it was something that ran in the bushes and these niggas ran to the car i can't i can't make this shit up bro this nigga maddie b and maddie b got scared ran to the car and opened the fucking door i said are you guys being dead ass Nah, that might have been the most ultra cock blocking of all times. I was overly mad. I did not speak, bro. When these niggas are in the car, this nigga Maddie, this nigga Maddie B's like, bro, we gotta go, bro. Something's chasing us, bro. Nothing was chasing you, nigga. Nothing was chasing you, bro. Like, nigga, it was a squirrel in the trees, my nigga. He starts pulling off. So now I'm sitting there mad. I wanna go home, right? I wanna go home. KK's over here like she's on like she's low-key like on me and she's like trying to see what's wrong with me And you already know what's wrong. Why are you asking me what's wrong dickhead? You already know what's wrong Like what the hell? Anyways, she's like, uh, she's like telling she's like telling Maddie B She's like, hey, let's go back to the park. Let's go back to the park. She's asking me. Do I want to go back to the park? Of course I want to go back to the park, nigga. I was finna get some sloppy toppy. What do you mean? Right? I was finna get some sloppy toppy, right? Pulled around to the park again. So we end up going back to the park or whatever, right? Nah, they end up, they end up, uh, uh, no, we end up going out into the cold, like, it, it was, like, even colder, like, it's, like, 2 o'clock in the morning, and it's cold as shit out, like, nigga, it's, like, freezing, like, nigga, it's damn near, it should be snowing, but there's no snow, that's the worst type of weather, when it's not snowing, but it's overly cold, my nigga, what are you doing, <laughs> like, what are you doing, bro, you get what I'm trying to say, but anyways, lock in, bro, lock in, lock in, lock in, Bro, she ends up, she ends up pulling me, right? She pulls my, like, my whole jacket. She pulls my whole jacket. And she's like, sit down right here. I'm like, bet. And it was like on a slump of the skate park. There's like a ramp on the skate park, bro. 
she sat me down on this on the skate park ramp my nigga she pulls my pants down bro she pulls my pants down bro she pulls my pants down bro and she starts going crazy now this is where this is where this is where the, the story time gets embarrassing for me right this is where the story time i'm low-key nervous bro i'm low-key nervous bro to get some like i, I was low-key nervous but i was horny at the same time if that makes sense because it's my first time experiencing head or any type of you know what i'm saying like oral sex this is my first time experiencing oral sex bro right like to me getting it done to me like you feel me like this is the first female i actually did anything with you get what i'm trying to say so she pulls my pants down so my shit is it's already cold outside so my shit is it's limp but i'm still horny so it's not like you get what i'm trying to say so my shit's damn near limp right so she tries to go crazy when i tell you all i felt nah kk if you're watching this video the only thing i felt was pure teeth nothing else my shit was getting scraped my shit was getting absolutely obliterated i thought my shit was bleeding i was sitting there making noises i said uh no nah i said uh but she thought i was having a fun time i wasn't having a fun time kk kk i wasn't having a fun time nigga i wasn't i was hurting my shit was getting scraped off my shit was bleeding what are you doing nah and she wasn't even trying to knock teeth it was just pure teeth i said are you being dead serious so not only was it cold not only was it cold outside like freezing like it should be snowing but it's not snowing cold and on top of that she's biting my sh like literally biting my i don't know if she was actually trying to do it like like she thought i liked it or something but nah she was actually teething my shit to the point to where i literally said oh fuck i said oh fuck no at least sat there and said oh fuck no so she was literally ex nah she literally seen my shit keep shrinking she was trying to give me the best head and my shit kept shrinking i said are you being dead ass this shit does not feel good bro dead ass bro at least sat there and just stared i was at least staring into the air nah i remember i literally remember me staring into the air out into the atmosphere it was the like pure stars out that night ali remember staring out into the atmosphere and wondering why did god do this to me <laughs> like what what happened what did i where did i go wrong this is the worst head this is the worst experience i've ever had ever there, there will never be another as well mm, i ain't gonna lie i've never really had a good head experience i'm not gonna lie to you but you get what i'm trying to say there was better experiences than what that was bro that shit was literally she literally was sitting there and it felt like a knife was just nah it felt like a knife was just cutting my shit the whole time at least sat there and stared at everybody i started being dead ass nah locked back in so she she's trying to go she's going crazy i'm making i'm making all types of noise i'm uh, i'm vibrating my voice like bro this shit hurts bro this shit hurts but i'm not gonna say nothing because i want to hurt her feelings or whatever right i don't want to hurt her feelings so i don't say anything but i just we low-key just get up bro i'm not gonna lie to you like i low-key just get up and just pull my pants there's no way bro. i'm not gonna lie to you like this is this is crazy so we end up going to the car so now i'm even more pissed like now i'm even more pissed walking to the car she's asking me what's wrong nah i'll be going straight to the crib and getting on the damn game i'll be getting on 2k nah and this was like what 2k17 at the time yeah i'll be getting on the game dead serious nah i went straight home ate me some cereal and never never that shit turned me off i literally stopped texting her and everything i'm not gonna lie to you that shit turned me off bro that shit literally overly turned me off that literally might be one of the most embarrassing moments because after i had broke up with, after i had broke up with her bro she literally started telling the school like or telling her friends or whatever they said bro he couldn't even get hard for me you can't even get hard for me nah your shit is just ass nah nigga your shit is just ass like bro this i kid you not i swear to god she was just sitting there pause on no homo no homo bro she was sitting there like imagine a pickle bro she just she just biting my shit she didn't even try to attempt to do anything good and on top of that it was cold now i'm gonna keep saying that on top of that it was cold so i'm just my pants are down my legs are freezing bro my legs are freezing bro my everything's freezing bro i barely have anything on. i barely have a jacket bro it's a it's a it's a uh it's a sports jacket that barely even you know what i'm trying to say but anyway so more of the story bro y'all young kings out there bro save your energy bro it's not worth it i promise to god it is not worth it bro it's not worth it bro don't even like don't even like 
Like y'all probably watching this video be like, all right, all right, Ben got hit like when I was 13 years old. Nigga, that's not a good, that's not a good, I hope you know that's not a good thing to like brag about, my nigga. That's not a good, where's your parents at, bro? You need to be taught better, bro. You need to be taught better, bro. Bro, I got hit whenever I was eight years old, bro. You got, bro, what, bro? What are you talking about, bro? I be, I be questioning some niggas sometimes and be like, bro, what the fuck, bro? Y'all niggas was trying to go, nigga, what, bro? Where's y'all family, bro? Y'all niggas was not raised properly, bro. If you're getting head at the age of eight, my guy, you're done for, buddy. You might as well just, just stop, just stop lifing, my guy. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Anyways, anyways, more of the story. Save y'all energy, bro. Like, if you're laughing right now, if you're laughing through the screen, bro, if you're actually sitting here laughing at me and laughing at the story time, go ahead and hit that like button. If I made you laugh, giggle, chuckle, smile, if I made you, if I made you smile at the camera at least one time, go ahead and hit that like button, bro. That's the full story time. That's the most embarrassing moment I had for getting it, especially when she tried to trick, she tried to tell the whole school, bro, he can't even get up for me. Ah, he couldn't even get up for me. Nigga, your shit was just that ass, but I wasn't finna be mean. I actually wasn't a mean, like overly mean like that, bro. But like my nigga, your shit was ass and it was in the cold. Like, uh -huh. like, uh -huh. anyways, love y'all boys. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video, man. Next video is gonna be next week, Wednesday. And uh, uh yeah. Hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Very, very blessed day. And uh, peace.